Hey, my name is Pierce Brown. I'm the author of the Red Rising Saga, new book Lightbringer out July 25th. And I'll be playing No Man's Sky with my main man, David Mensch, AKA Cortana. Okay, so your ship is damaged. It's damaged. Yeah. So I can't use it. So you can't use it until you fix it. Okay, so I have to go get stuff for it? So you can see on the right, it says what you have to do, repair your thrusters, repair your pulse engine, roof, roof, uh, refuel your launch thrusters. Thank you, Cortana. Will let me know what I need? So see on the right, it says gather iron from small rocks. Oh, okay. So right. yeah, shoot that. Iron oxide, destroy, mine. Times nine iron, we're getting somewhere. Yeah, so there you go. So Another rock, dude. You're finding a lot of rocks. Get that rock. How do you win this game? Like, I don't think you do. It's I think it's like life. <laughs> Deep. <laughs> oh, life support's at 50%. Oh, no, you're fine. Uh, I feel like you're leading me toward death. Oh, you'll, you'll be fine. Yeah, I would say that. So is that thing like a sentry robot or something that yeah, will like fuck me up? Yeah, it is a little, it's called a sentry. But what if I kill it and like, I, I get glorious I don't think rewards. you're ready to kill it yet. How do you know? You don't even don't, know what iridium I think, is. I don't think exactly. <laughs> oh, inventory full. What is that even? What is that? Go mean? back to your starship. I think you gotta go back now. I think you're actually getting too cold. Oh, oh okay. Uh, yeah, I'm dying. Okay. Where is it? Yo, go up the hill. Ah, okay. Oh, you're really far away. Yeah. You gotta run. I am. I'm trying to run. I'm weighed down by all this carbon I was picking up. Ooh. So what happens Don't if, get distracted. Well, you know. Well, it says protection. Okay, I'll run. What? All right. Are you running? Uh, I mean, I'm pressing kind of down on the left D-pad. Is that not how you run in this? How do you run? I don't know. Mash other buttons. I'm well, well, critically just... damaged. Cortana. Oh no. Oh, zinc! Oh, yeah. <laughs> inventory. I didn't know my inventory could get full. Oh, this is, this is why, this is why explorers die. I was not prepared for this odyssey. All right. I feel like you're going really slow. Yeah, because I'm freezing, Cortana. <laughs> I feel like over this hump lies salvation. I have a lot of health left. I think I can make it. I'll arrive at ship in 12 seconds. Have faith. Oh, that's I don't a know. Deep hill. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. I, I'm gonna make it. That's a long twelve seconds. I'm gonna make it. Uh, now you're, 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 ye of little faith. Ye of little faith. That's why AI will never take over. Okay. Oh, now it's late again. Perfect. Like we hey, planned. Exactly. <laughs> you're so good at this game. Lewis and Clark. Okay, now you have to find that zinc again. It's all good. You know, I was very confident this was the same direction, but I'm not quite sure it is anymore. Oh, there you go, hurricane. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Finally. Yes, yes. You give me okay, all the just iridium. Get it all. Just I need take 200. It all. I need 200. Oh, now your your mining beam is out. Oh, oh, no. no, I have 71 percent. It was overheated. So I was so excited by all this rich in iridium. What is iridium, anyways? You know, I'm not nearly smart enough to know that. Some, you got some Emerald Legacy. Again. I don't know. We might need it later. I refuse to have a future thing that we need the Emerald for and have me have to come back here, so I'm going to get it all. I don't think you need any of this. I know. Can I kill this thing? What? I'm, I'm going to kill it. I mean, I'm not going to tell you no, but I don't. But it's really. I'm going to kill it. No, it's running. It didn't do anything to you. But it has carbon. I need it's carbon. It's really trying to get away. I need carbon. No. I'm matching its you, Ah, oh, carbon. You, you understand that could have been a pet. Carbon. You could have fed it. Hey, we are exploring a galaxy. There are sacrifices need to be made. Mm. I, for one, am willing to sacrifice that thing. If it had sentience, it would agree. Plutonium. I say, oh, plutonium is like a rock, right? Pl plutonium is super delicious for recharging my thingamabobber. Oh, right, that, that thing. Yeah. You're gonna analyze some stuff? Oh. You could see what you just murdered. Yeah, should we investigate? The murderer is back. Oh yeah, Carbon. analyzing something. Wait. Oh, what is that? Dude, you're just killing it. Why? Wait a minute. It could, it's going to attack gonna you. Look out. 
Well, you, so you're a naturalist, but a murderer. Uh, all the great ones were. That's true. Have you ever heard of Richard Mighty Herod Sagan? Looks like an angry animal is coming after me. Oh, shit, yeah. Oh, oh God. God. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Get, shoot what it. What did I ever do to you? You shot at it. Well, that's beside the point. I'm an adventurer. Run. Is it still running? Run. Is it, is it still coming after you? I don't know. Wrath of nature, man. It's making this a little spicy. Wait, turn it around. Turn, turn around. Is it there? Yeah, it learned its lesson. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hit me once and I almost died. <laughs> I feel like we're on that similar path. Oh, what's that rock up there? What if we scan? Uh, maybe. Oh wait, what's that then? I think this would be zinc. Is it zinc? Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's what you gotta do, you know. Oh, your inventory's full of Wait, I think you can transfer stuff to your ship now. Yes, I can. I can teleport it. Oh, you're, you're freezing. Yeah, quite cold. You can't hear it, but oh, my, it my breathing is quite labored oh. in the game. Got it. Perfect. All right, go, go. You can do it. You can get off this planet now. Now you believe in me. It's I after I tangled that beast, you sense my masculinity. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, I can. Oh, you didn't oh, realize dude, it. I didn't know I could do that. You can. Yeah, you have a jetpack. Well. Oh well, now it's depleted. Now you just you just wasted it. Wait, it's that it pleats that fast? Well, I'm sure you can recharge it with something that you just stole from this planet. Pull sending critically damaged. Okay, there you go. Nice. You gotta, you gotta repair that. Well, it seems like I'll need this later. Oh, you got a milestone. Which is what? Oh well, yeah, we know that. I mean, I don't mean to brag, but I think I'm pretty great at this game, David. <laughs> I've tangled with clearly is the alpha predator on this uh, world. Oh, leave him alone. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. I'm, yeah, but now Wait, they know. Oh, to, this is a baby, too. Dude, now they know to fear me. It's all about setting a precedent. You know, I'm not a violent guy, but they need to know. Just get some plutonium. <laughs> <laughs> Just shut up and get some plutonium. Fair. Nope. Plutonium. Although that was right, I do what that you had also said, else. Yeah, yeah, for your pulse engine. Dude, the jetpack is so cool. Oh, oh what? You just man, what? You gotta be careful. What? There, there, there you go. The red you stuff. You know, I'm, I'm just honestly, this is so. A there, you need more of that red stuff. What a nifty world where plutonium just grows at crystals. Yeah, I don't know if that'd be a good thing though. Plutonium yeah. sounds like a bad thing to me. I mean, <laughs> yeah, right. I feel like there should be some barriers. Like if there were some in your lawn, yeah. would you want that growing in your lawn? There should be like, some barriers of entry to accessing plutonium. Right. If I get back to my ship and I still need more plutonium, I'm going to murder one of those baby animals. Look at all those birds up there. I won't actually do that. One, I think it's like bad, and two, there's witnesses. Mm -hmm. No, you can take off now. Leave your planet. But I can there's, also shoot. What bugs. if I shot one of the birds? And it had like a million plutonium. You don't know what would you do have, with it. Have you been on this planet of Ipsilathades or whatever it's called? You, you don't even know. You don't even know the name. <laughs> do you? <laughs> no. Oh, you got a storyline. Oh. I have the sun and moon behind galaxies waiting to be found. Begins and end with you, if any awaits. Begin? Yeah, why not? Cool. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, got man, what? Beam. I got a laser beam. I need more iron, though. Oh, my God. Just get off this planet. <laughs> no, dude. I want iron so I can have my laser beam. Let's, you don't know what kind of menaces you might encounter? No, you could have more of those things coming out. Months you. from now, you could, like, thank me when the pirates come. Are there pirates? I think there are pirates. Oh, cool. I've always wanted to play this game, but I decided not to because I thought it would take up too much of my time. I just thought it would be too addictive. Yeah, well, watch out. I think you, there are space pirates. There are also freighters that you can take over as your base. Oh, cool. Um, like, what if we spend as much time like with our personal finances as we did playing video games? There are three alien languages you can learn. Three? At least, I think, yeah. But you have to learn them one word at a time. <laughs> what? 
I don't know, man. Like, I don't even play with my Duolingo. And, like, Duolingo, like, annoys me every day saying, you want to learn French this year. Why are you a failure? Yeah. It really does make you feel bad, right? The Dude, it's so passive-aggressive. Yeah. Boom. We are in. All right. Hold R2 to take off. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Wait, go, wait. Wh Leave planet, flies. All right. So what now? Wait, are you in space? Get out. I'm not quite sure. Hit your thrusters. Whoa, Whoa. you're going back down. Now go up. Wait, that, sense, look at my, all those other orient, planets. My orient, like, wow, what are you doing? What, oh, it's... Uh, there you go. I feel like the control's inverted again. And so, oh, man, the control's inverted again. Ah, oh, my God. I can't play. I told you I have to play inverted. <laughs> what is that brain of yours? That, I don't know, man. Okay, there, yeah. look at all these different planets you can go with. What? There's... Wait. Look, they've got other names. There's, uh, there's that one. So we just go to these planets and like explore? Yeah, it says it's undiscovered. Just, just do it, just go. But man, like what's the point of the game? You just gotta find out. Well, I guess the cool thing about this is the idea of there being so many undiscovered places. That's one of the things I wish I could do with Red Rising is have more discovery, but like there's a limited amount of body masses, like uh, solar masses in our moon, uh, in our uh, system. Like, we know all the moons of Jupiter, we know all the moons of Neptune, it's also like a hassle to get there out there. But what I would like, would love is, uh, I mean, I think it'd be fun, <laughs> is having like the first solar explorers, the blues, like exploring the solar system and finding out all the scientific mysteries. So in the series, is everything discovered? I guess to a degree, I've always considered it as such because it's about 750 years after they began colonizing the planets. Right, and they have, I mean, things in the far flung, like things in the Cooper Belt. No, not everything can be discovered. There are asteroids that could not be discovered. Like, part of the whole thing is Atlas Al Ra has had, like, he's given a task by the Sovereign to uh, cleanse the outer belt of uh, Askamani, but it's an impossible task um, because it would take a fleet a hundred times the size of his, a hundred years or a thousand years to go across the entire Cooper Belt. So, like, space is just astronomical size. And I think that was like, one of the things that always attracted me to this game is the overall scope of it, but also kind of like intimidated me mm -hmm. and maybe not want to play. Like, look, like I'm holding down this button and I don't know, this is going to like take You're going to arrive in 16, 16 minutes. minutes. Like, no, wait. Surely there has you know, to be. Whoa, there's an asteroid there also. What the heck is that? What is that? To... Okay, there. first of all, there's ships up there, right, but then there's also- Where are ships? Right up there. Oh, let's go investigate the ships. So that's really cool is this concept of like encountering ships that you have no idea what they are or exist out there. I think what's so fun is like we think of the Earth as relatively small sometimes. Then you think about like a ship being lost at sea and how it's almost impossible to find. Mm -hmm. Imagine something lost in the solar system. You ever been to the Getty Villa? Uh, not the Getty Villa, the uh, uh, Griffith uh, Observatory? Mm -hmm. They have. Um, all the planets, um, their orbits like etched into the stone there, and it shows you the distance in uh, proportionally between all the planets and mm -hmm. Earth and Mars and all of them are you know relatively close to one another, and then it's about like a 50 times different uh, difference uh, getting out to Jupiter, and then Uranus and Neptune and Saturn are even further beyond that, and it just really shows you the scope. I mean, billions of kilometers. So I guess like it's actually inconceivable that everything in the solar system would be explored. I think that's something that I should go into more in the series. What is this ship? Is this a freighter? Uh, yeah. What does that say? Go back up there. No, that's the. You're gonna run into it. Well, <laughs> I'm a clever pilot. So I think more interesting if you go up there. There's this symbol that's right there that see that thing if it's still that'll still take me space station go there 
Oh, that'll only take me seven now, seconds. Now, there, so. but there is hold R L one and R one together to engage and pulse. Oh. Your pulse drill. So hit the L one, R one. First of all, focus on the yeah. There you go. So one of my favorite things about the Red Rising world is it doesn't have the hyperspace of Star Wars, right? Is that it has like the month long journeys, um, or even farther, like to get from uh, like Pluto to uh, Mars, would take. Uh, like over six months at near orbit and I feel as though like it's one thing we kind of like forget about is the vast gulfs that are out there mm -hmm. and for story sometimes you can forget about it because you want immediacy you know you got a minute till we get there <laughs> so I'm killing time like I think my favorite thing would be like to have a cozy yeah what do you do trip. exactly what do you do in between what do you do in between right you right. don't hyper sleep because we don't have that I mean like do you play cards? Do you exercise? What do you do? Mm -hmm. I'd cook. You would? I'd cook, cook and listen to classical music. Interesting. And jazz. So what would... And I'd have an alien, like, or a robot masseur. Wait, what? Whoa, wait. Okay. You're you're here at the space station. Go, go to the blue... The Go follow the blue light. These flight controls are very strange. They're opposite from a halo. There you go. You got to go to that blue light. You're just going to circle this over and over. <laughs> I'm going so fast, I can't slow down. I slow down. Oh, oh there you go. go. There we go. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that was like they really go, fast. Go, go to the blue light. That's You just got to get there. Okay. You can speed up a little now. Okay. Once you get there, it will it will pull you in. Like a, a beam. Uh it didn't pull you in. There, there. What are you doing? Uh, trying to fly. You're so into bad the at beam. this. Oh, that's not the beam. Oh, that's the beam. That is not the beam. Where, where's the you beam? You know, there's another beam. Oh. There, there's there, there's a, it's up there. That's that's the beam. These flight controls that's, that's are so beam. weird. Yeah. All right, I'm going toward the beam. I'm going slow so I don't get criticized. Almost there. Okay, okay, okay. Here you go. There uh, you go. Uh, so it wasn't my fault, huh? I, Amazing. It's incredible how I that works out sometimes. Me. So quick to judgment. You're not Cortana anymore. You're Judge Judy. <laughs> All right. So now you get to meet your other uh, sweet aliens. Oh what? Well, you can you get to buy that too if you want. What? If you had money, but you're poor right now. <laughs> my ship sucks. Look at that. Yeah, thing. it really does. It can't even fly. It's not my fault. So uh, if you go to the left, go up, or you, you know, you don't, the enemy, enemy slayer. Enemy slayer, what is that? Oh, there's enemies? This warrior makes a bark of acceptance. You could trade with them. I feel like this might be a I mistake. think if you could compare, I don't think you're gonna be able to afford this. Yeah, no. Oh, dude, he's got some sick weaponry. 187,000 units. You got zero. I have zero units? Yep. How am I so impoverished? I think I will decline, good sir. Your ship's not for me. I want it. I would love a game like this in the Red Rising world where you could explore the entire system. You can see like the melding of like the ancient ruins of uh, you know, a society like that is in love with like the grandiosity of the classical era. It'd be so fun. Aliens are cool too, though. But you know, it's funny because you don't necessarily have aliens. No, I don't have aliens, so it'd have to be human reigns. That's the problem mm -hmm. is like my society, while it pretends to be old, is quite young. Mm -hmm. And so you just don't have that much unknown stuff in relationship to like this. Like, um, uh, I guess like monoxide? Oh, I guess that's your only option. Oh, I kind of like that. It gave you uh, the word. Interloper. Interloper. Oh, cool. So when a Viking now talks to me, I will be able to like recognize that. That one, yeah. That you can't go through there. Sorry, that's locked. Okay. So am I just in someone else's like space? space I guess you're station? in that guy's place. The fun thing is, this is about exploration. None of the other Red Rising books have really focused on the mysteries of the system, um, mostly because we've always stayed in the core and the. The rim is always played almost like a, a very vague um, 
how to say it, it's 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 only touched upon kind of vaguely in Morning Star. But what's fun about Lightbringer is it actually really expands the story to include uh, the Rim again, um, and expands kind of on the narrative of uh, that was going on in uh, Iron Gold. And so there are actual mysteries in the asteroids, in the myriad asteroids, and the moons. Oh, yeah, you keep coming back to the same two locked doors. Yeah, but... Um, you got a nice view. I'm trying to narrate it at the same time. Maybe Beautiful view. Yeah, go back uh, to your yeah. starship. So one of the fun things about Lightbringer is that it actually explores the system far more than the rest of the books. I mean, you start out at the threshold of the sun. You know, these trash moons that are circling uh, the sun, and we follow Darrow on a adventure that goes further away from the sun than we've ever had in the Red Rising series before. Who's this guy? Can I kill him and take him ship? I'm gonna try. I don't know. I've never tried that. Well, I won't let me fire my gun. Go back to your ship. Not other people's ships. All right. You know, I feel as though it's so big that it's too daunting to really approach. For me, personally. Like, unless we have a deal with this company, in which case I love this game. Uh, <laughs> it's just like, I like really narrative driven games. Um, and uh, this one, I, I kind of struggle to see the uh, the payoff, I mean, isn't this like kind of like life? Like chasing mysterious signals and bars, seeing where they lead mm -hmm. you, you know? Or like, you know, hunches. Anywhere, David. <laughs> See, I have a you just say you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of just exploring. I love the concept. I think like... Um, I like how you, know, you don't know what you're doing, but you're also getting all these achievements. I feel as though that's their way of making me keep playing. Um, Go to that planet. What I would love is if there's a bit more like interaction with characters. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little too missed life story. story. Ah. That planet? Sure. What's that where this mysterious signal is, right? Maybe. I mean, this game set in the Red Rising world. Hell yeah, I'd play. Because then there'd be like classical, like scary, peerless, scarred knights to fight. And like, you know, ancient Roman septs and uh, I don't know. Greek monuments and uh, odes to fallen warlords. You know, I don't really get a sense of culture yet, but maybe I'm new at this game. I'm sure people love it. So there have been like a lot of interest in doing that, but unfortunately, you can't do that sometimes and also try to be developing it into a TV series. So that's the problem with uh, sometimes when you, you're trying to go down one, one path, they, they, the rights get locked up. But, you know, if that doesn't work, then I think video game would be the next stop because there's so many different things we can do to approach it. How do I get out of here? Turn off your hypertrack. I don't know how. <laughs> okay. There you go. Ah! Whoa, Jesus. Shoot them. Ah! Shoot them. Shoot them. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going so fast. Okay. Yeah, but a Red Rising video game would be so fun. But I think it would be like... I, I think this game combined with like um, Elder Scrolls. Oh, I love it. Would be Elder so Scrolls. cool, yeah. right? Okay, just hit your hit your hyper thrust and go right at the planet. I, I'm out of fuel, dude. Oh my god, dude, I'm out we'll of fuel. Go faster. Do other things. This game is just like. Not oh, bad. there you go. There you go. You didn't have to complain. You just had to I'm fix not complaining. it. I'm just a little impotent at this game. Is that the word? Oh, now you're gonna run into the planet. No, I'm just passing through. I have to, I have to do that to land. And to investigate this mysterious signal. All right, you know what? Here's my review. I'm pulling an Iron Rain. Mm -hmm. And Iron Rain's the last, guys. Remember Akari, or what is it? Akari witnessed me. Oh, wait. It auto lands? No, I refuse it. I want Harry Carey. No! It won't let me crash, man. You can't even crash. I can't even, won't even let me crash. Oh, there's a mountain there. I think I can get hit. Yeah, I'm gonna hit it. 
This game is so There's big. There's no end. This game is so big. Like, like, what on earth? See, this is too daunting to play. Like, oh my god, this is... Oh, mountain, I can hit it. Oh, you see that? It, like, this ship has AI. I wonder if there's some, like, Kevorkian protocol to unlock where you're allowed to kill yourself. All right, but this way I'm going to get the mysterious signal. What, what? Okay. Wait, you want to try to crash you know me? You try to crash no, me. I'm not. Yeah, you crash, crash me. It. You see what happens. Oh, everything's inverted now. I'm just landing. Why? We still have to get the mysterious signal, bro. It's over oh, there. Oh, you know what? I want to look at this tree instead. You want to look at this tree? Yeah. Of course, this is what happens in AI. Gets look, it's, of its, it's own. raining mildly. There's infrequent flora. There's no fauna. And I can't but control I just saw birds. anything because I have to hit up it, in order to go down. Aren't those birds that are bugs? You can switch it if you want. I can critique you now. Okay, you know what? Why you aren't you what? being more athletic you know and getting the, uh, the source of the hyperdrive signal? You know what? My, my Why don't brain you know is not here wired like this. I mean, what we came here to do, you know? I'm trying to run, which you couldn't do. I, I guess, was I flying, guess and now you want to run? Wow, that sounds like a downgrade. You know, I'm, I, I've got a, I can't hear anything, so that's really... Oh, here. Written. And you know what? No, it's fine. No, come on in, come I don't on. need it. Hey. I don't hey. need it. Hey, this is true. Yeah, you can hear the despairing winds. Oh, what is that? Is that like a tesseract? I don't know. Go shoot oh, it. Oh shit. Uh oh. Just, that, see, that is minute. that is that is fauna. That is fauna. What is that? A fauna. Looks like a giant evil toad. Oh, see, I've already accomplished things. You're so good. It's Wait good. a minute. Wait a minute. You're gonna eat Wait a minute. Toad. I think it's bad. It's gonna eat you, man. Oh, it's, it's wait, eating wait, you. what's happening? I can't. Your shield is down. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta run. Yeah, you should better. I gotta run. Are you gonna die within two minutes of starting the game? I gotta run. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> you can't run though. Wait a minute. Use your jetpack, bud. Hold X. Yeah, nice, nice. Oh, but now you're gonna crash. Oh, now I'm gonna crash. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh great. My god. Great. Oh my god. Wait a minute. <laughs> I just want to get to whatever this is. And I've got something chasing me. Oh, oh no. Oh, they you know have Dune what? quotes in here? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm into the game All right. now. I'm into the game. Cortana, maybe this game's not for you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, death, death by, by planetary, planetary predator. It did say there was no fauna, didn't it? Yeah, it did. This game lies. Unlike my books. I'm Pierce Brown. Uh, I am terrible at No Man's Sky, but I tried. And it was him, Cortana, David Mensch, who perished by the planetary predator. But my books are <laughs> the Red Rising series. And uh, the latest, Lightbringer, is out July 25th and is the sixth in the series. And it explores the system through the gaze of Darrow, the protagonist who's pretty down on his luck and has to find his friends and his purpose again from the threshold of the sun to the shadows of the gas giants. And I hope you guys enjoy it.